Welcome to Go Bears Diecast Workshop, Episode 76. Remember, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and give me a thumbs up for this video. This happens to be a four horsemen and three blind mice red line day invitational. Uh, May 18th is red line day. So the casting that I picked was the hood. Uh, it's a 1971 red line. Uh, Larry Wood actually did this particular casting and it was inspired from uh, the early coach built cars called town cars where the driver was up front and the passengers were in the enclosed cabin. If you can look at it, it has a little black uh, little black slider that covers up the driver. Um, it's a movable roof. So it would cover them up and keep them out of the rain. This one actually kept uh, being produced through 1973. And it was re-released then, but it didn't have the sliding roof. And it was called the Highway Robber. Had as a metal motor, metal base. Has the cap style wheels. Those are going to have to be changed out. You can see it's pretty dirty and crusty. I have to get that base in some lime away. But let's go ahead and get in some stripper. So here it is out of the stripper. I have already tapped and drilled it. I'm going to go over it with a brass wire brush. Getting it taken care of. You know, with it being Red Line Day, there also is, uh, the month of May is for uh, mental health awareness. Um, I know a lot of you probably know of someone, whether it's in your family or a friend, that may be suffering from some mental health issues, depression. We just saw coming out of COVID and everything. Uh, you guys, if you know that that person Make sure you give them a little love and understanding. But um, again, Mental Health Awareness Month is the month of May. As you can see, I'm going over it with the Scotch Bright. This is the 320 grit, the maroon color one. I'm getting it ready uh, because I'm probably going to have to get some zinc on it. Going to make it nice and clean. There's my little zinc set up. Epsom salt, water, vinegar, and the zinc plate. Here, I'm going to apply a little bit of voltage to it. You could use a... Um, aquarium pump or you can just swing it around in there keep it moving ever so gently you can see the top of the roof was in rough rough shape but we'll see how it's gonna do after we do a couple of coatings so there it is out of the zinc plate you can see it's got that grayish hazy look on it You just start out by uh, working your way up from, say, 400 grit all the way to about 2,000. Get it ready for the Spectra Flame paint. Now, I understand with the Hong Kong version, there was uh, a black roof. Um, I'm not going to make it a black roof. I'm going to go straight Spectra Flame paint. And just work your way up with the grit and polish it. Here I am back in the spray booth. It's been nice and cleaned with uh, some soap and water. Get all of the oils and fingerprints off of it and any residual uh, polish. 
You can see it's a mirror, mirrored uh, shine on it. Sorry about that. My phone was going off. I'm going to take my time and put on uh, several light coats building up to the color that I want. As you can see, uh, or you can't really tell just yet since they're so light, but I went with a uh, Spectra Flame Green. Again, I'm killing two birds with one stone on this one because it uh, takes care of Red Line Day and Mental Health Awareness Month. And the color green is symbolism of Mental Health Awareness Month. But again, I'm just building up that color. And once I get it to the desired shade, which is going to be pretty deep, is what I'm shooting for. And then I'll be able to come back and clear coat it. Now, there's a shot of it at the shade that I wanted. I think it turned out fantastic. Just spinning it around so you could see all sides. Now this is without any clear on it, believe it or not. Uh, it's just as deep as can be. I'm real happy with the way that that turned out. We're going to go ahead and move on to the base. Here I've gotten the base out of the lime away. You can see how bad those um, red line wheels are. Just going over it with a brass brush. I've of course um, did some soap and water on it to stop the lime away from working. There's that motor doing the same thing. So I'm going to come back with the flits. See, I got gloves on because, you know, when you start messing with that, it gets all under your fingernails and everything. I'm being pretty generous with it. I like to work it in real well. And I'm going to take my Dremel. I'm going to turn it down probably to about 10 and uh, work with it slowly. Again, even at this slow speed, hold on to that thing because uh, it might get away from you just with the revolutions from the... Uh, a little cotton wheel. You can see it turning black there. If I didn't have those gloves on, my fingers would be the same color. And there, I lost it. That one was kind of hard to uh, polish up because it had so many little crevices. But it did turn out pretty nice. it was a whole heck of a lot better than what I started with. I'm going to move on to the base. Now typically the base will, you'll see it with that black hazy look on it. But once you get it in soap and water, it'll clean up real nice. Trying to get get a real good shine on the grill. But then it doesn't bother me if I leave just a little bit of black and it kind of gives it that that older look. I don't want it super shiny. 
but I did want to get some of the tarnish off of it. This one was really play worn, if you remember what we started out with. So now I'm going to go ahead and start working on getting uh, new shoes on it. As you can see, I'm just using my X-Acto knife, working it into uh, the little crease. Be careful with that. My little X-Acto knife blade is a little dull. See, I'm using a little force right there. Again, be extremely careful so you don't slice your finger. There it goes. Let's get this last one off. All right. So now I got some uh, new shoes from Bright Vision. They seem to make a, a really nice reproduction red line wheel or tire. Just snap those on. You could use the little tool on the back side, uh, but the cap wheels are pretty easy. Just takes a little bit of force to get it on. There it goes. Put the back ones on. Here's the larger ones. All right, now we got four new wheels. You can see that base polished up real nice. I'll put some of that Renaissance wax on uh, both of those just to keep it from turning black. I usually save those older wheels if they're not all busted up and everything. The two front ones weren't worth saving. Now we're going to get to the windshield. I like the Meguiar's. Use it with a Q-tip. Work it on there and you'll eventually hear it squeaky. You can see it turning black on the Q-tip. Flip over to the other side. Now you can do gauzy, you can do the pledge floor shine, whatever. This one was in pretty good shape, so I just went with it that way. Now, just a reminder of what we started out with uh, was the purple magenta color, very play worn. A lot of oxidation on the base and the motor. The roof was terrible. The tires needed changing out. And here we got a restored hood. Beautiful green color. Tail lights were painted back in red with the red sharpie. New shoes on it from Pride Vision. I really enjoyed this bill. Make sure that you look out for the other hobbyists that will be participating. I thank you Four Horsemen and the Three Blind Mice for putting this on every year. I always have a blast. And again, remember it's uh, mental health Awareness Month. I chose the color green because that symbolizes that. So take note of uh, your friends and family. They may be going through something. And here I'm leaving you with some glamour shots. Remember, please subscribe, share, like, and give me a thumbs up. Working my way towards uh, the thousand. I planned on when I get to a thousand subscribers, I'm going to be doing some giveaways. Probably going to be a couple of red lines. 
and some other customs. Hope everybody enjoyed the bill. Thank you again to all my supporters.